Hello guys and welcome to another one. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you my geode setup. Now I think this is possibly the best setup that you can ever get down here. The reason is it will get you to wherever you've got to go quicker like tier 5 and you'll be able to farm a lot quicker and get a load of crystals. So what have I got? First of all, I've got Thumper, which reveals hidden crystals. Now, these hidden crystals give way more than when you're picking up the normal crystals that you can see in the world. And it shows the location of buried ore. Now, when you get this up high enough as well, when you've leveled it high enough, you'll be able to mine a lot quicker as well. So, secondly, we've got Path Painter. This transforms a block under your feet into speed boosters that anybody can use it also gives a massive jump buff when you get it high enough and it will turn you invisible so the turrets won't even target you the next is the jubilant frolic he has got a plus 300 to gas a minus 10 percent to path painter cooldown minus 10% to Omni Tool End Charge costs, plus 10 to Movement Speed, and plus 300 to Gas again. Now, this is one of the rare companions that you can get, but in my opinion, he's the best. The reason why I use this companion as well is because of the Path Painter cooldown. Now, like I said, when you get Path Painter to level 10, you will become invisible. And with that cooldown on the companion, you'll be able to keep this up all the while. Keep the buff active constantly. So, let's go and show you what it looks like. Another thing I'd like to point out, I do use the Boom Ranger because of his dodge. When falling a long distance like here, if you dodge before you hit the floor, you will not take any damage and you can get on your way a lot quicker. Another reason why I use Path Painter is climbing up in the world. As you can see, I'll put Path Painter down here. And as you can see, it will only take me a short while to get to the top of that without using climbing claw and like going round and round and round so you do get around the world a lot quicker so the advantage of having path painter down as well as you can see i've got two turrets up there that can fire at me because i'm invisible they won't fire at me so i can mine this in peace without like using the barrier and stuff like that i can just stay here and mine to my heart's content without being bothered by any turrets which is what you want because you don't want to want to be damaging your gas so you've got less time down here now why i use thumper is let's throw him down and see how many crystals he throws up and don't forget these the crystals that he shows will give you more let's see if i can see some shiny ones yes you see those shiny ones there these give you a lot more crystals than the regular ones so that's why i use thumper I will just collect a load of these while, while I'm here. Another good thing about Path Painter is when you put it down, it is permanent in the world. So all your friends can use it and receive the jump boost and speed boost. And like now, when I'm clean... Oh, no. It's out and I haven't got enough end charge. So you just jump back on it again. And away you go. Collecting all your stuff at top speed. So just look before, pop that thumper down and harvest those crystals. You can literally get thousands and thousands off one run.
don't forget to collect those glowing ones well guys that is my setup i do find it to be the most useful fastest and quickest way to mine and collect your stuff let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and as always that's about that for this one stay safe people and i'll see you in the next one take care Thank you.